For today's video, we are going to calibrate a Hague Eastern Mesh Model. This one is the uncalibrated at the top, and this one below is the calibrated and tested for viability in Excel. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, share. So we open our HIG HMS and if we notice in our first run, we don't have any calibration results. No summary of calibration since we do not have the observed discharge. So usually the color of the observed discharge in the graph is a black color. And so uh, we check here in our time series, we do not have a discharge gauge. And so we add our discharge gauge in the component create new and we name this as this observed discharge and then we click create and we close so we have now the discharge as our time series data we set this to 10 minutes and we drop down the uh, discharge and then the time window so similar with our uh, our rainfall data, seeing time window. And then we also have put our data here in the table. Now we are going to see how the discharge observed discharge is computed. So we have uh, we should have a velocity, we have a cross section, and of course the water level. So, of course, we use that to compute our discharge. And we copy here in our table and then see the graph. So, this is our observed discharge hydrograph. And after this, we are going to add uh, this discharge to our computation. So we we look at here in our options of the sink and we include our observed discharge and receive. And so we're now ready to add for our optimization or calibration, but it is we use the automatic uh, automatic uh, optimization. So we add a computation uh, optimization manager. So we name this as optimization one. Like next finish so we have now this optimization in our computer now we browse on this optimization one and we put the time window for our optimization so this is similar to our run number one uh, similar time window where we extend to one day uh, simulation so the same time window And so after this time window, we can right click on this optimization when we add the uh, parameters. Like this, we will add here three parameters. So this one, we have three there, here. And we'll just uh, utilize these three parameters. So we set the uh, values here. And so after <coughs> so the same process in adding some of the other two uh, parameters and after this we compute our optimization and we found here uh, error so we go to the error on initial so we put value on initial we put one and save and then uh, run again or compute again okay so we'll just wait for several minutes with this okay finish we can now see the result and we check here in our optimization trial so now let's check at the sync the graph of the sync so this is our calibrated uh, hms model and uh, let's close this and we'll check our run one or we run again our run one to see our uncalibrated uh, model. So we right click on this, run one, then we compute. Okay, so we compute the run one and let's see the uncalibrated model. So that's it. So we find here that the simulated is much lower compared to our observed uh, discharge. 
and also here in our uh, optimize run uh, the two are already in uh, or the peak discharge are almost uh, the same so what we are going to do now is to uh, test the analysis so we copy paste the time series of the simulated and the conserved discharge so we copied uh, pasted the data from HMS to this Excel uh, computation and we drag some of the uh, computations below because our uh, copied and pasted data are uh, over and now we will check the uh, result remarks it's all good.